This weekend is the premiere of the movie Up, where balloons just like this one lift up an entire house. Sounds kind of crazy, so I turned to my friend, graphic artist, and mathematician extraordinaire Patrick Garvin to see if it could really happen. One balloon has about half a cubic foot of helium in it, but to lift a pound, you need approximately 16 cubic feet of helium, or about 32 of these balloons. The average house weighs about 50 tons or 100,000 pounds. So 100,000 pounds times 32.03756 balloons to lift a pound means that you would need approximately 3,203,000 1,756 balloons. And that's a lot of balloons. So I guess maybe it could happen, but I don't have a house to try it out on, so I made a trip to the dollar store and got a few household items to see how many of these balloons it would take to lift them up. Unfortunately, when we started this experiment, we had nice sunny blue skies, and now, of course, it looks like it's going to storm. So we're going to head inside to continue the experiment. First up, the sponge. only took two balloons, but now it's time to do something a little more worthwhile. Like the picture of my ex-boyfriend, who chose to run off with another woman. Let's get rid of this thing. I cannot get rid of this freaking guy. Alright, we got 15. This will have to work. I mean, if we have to keep going, he'll have another kid before it's over. Speaking of his kids... Heavy little thing. Must take after his mama. Our final and heaviest item is something I know we'd all love to get rid of. Laundry detergent. Let's start with 30. another 10. It's actually a lot harder <laughs> than it looks. All right, you ready? Oh! <laughs> yes! It took 90 balloons, but we finally got the laundry detergent to lift off the ground. No, it 
wasn't totally scientific, but it still was pretty fun. For more of the math behind this experiment and the movie Up, check out Jack, the weekend section of the Florida Times Union. For Jacksonville.com, I'm Amanda Warford.